Gentlemen, Antonio here. All right, today I'm going to be presenting you my top 10 men's style blogs. This is in support of my article over at Real Men Real Style where I actually rank over 400 men's style blogs and you can go over there, you can see the entire ranking. I've also go into more detail about my top 25. The reason I do this, gentlemen, is I want to make it easy for you to be able to find what you're looking for so that you can see, hey, Antonio says these guys are great, I'm going to go check them out, but also so that you can go into my deeper list and you can definitely you know, explore. Find a blogger, find a vlogger, find an Instagrammer, find somebody who resonates with you so that you can become the man you know yourself to be by being inspired by these other bloggers. In addition, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of my list? Do you agree with my top 10? Who did I leave off? And if you find a blogger that I for some reason did not categorize, did not rank, did not put in there, make sure reach out to them, tell them to reach out to me. If you feel I you know, I didn't rank somebody correctly, have the blogger reach out to me. The reason I ask you to do this is I love to hear from other bloggers and we do change the scores. We not I'm not going to change my top 25, but I will change, you know, that ranking if for some reason I did not rank somebody appropriately. Now, what did I use? I used 10 factors to rank people. Here they are really quick. Number 1, writing quality, 2, social media, 3, volume, 4, or uniqueness, five, audience interaction, number six, practicality, number seven, community, number eight, user experience, number nine, design, number 10, industry interaction. So guys, as you can see, there are a lot of flaws with a ranking like this. If it is a picture blog, if they don't really have much in terms of writing, I'm going to rank them really low there, that's going to affect their overall score. So you guys are wondering who made the top 10. So at number 10, we've got George Hahn. I just want you to go check out George's video. I think enough said is in this video. He's got a great blog, a good podcast. This is why he made my top 10. I love his sense of humor. Number nine, he spoke style. Brian Sakwa has done some amazing work. Now, what I really like about Brian's blog over at He Spoke Style is that he actually uses great images. He's the model in all of his images. His write-ups are solid. He's also been experimenting in the video cool stand-up guy, really like what he does. I enjoy his style, so that's why I've got him at number nine. Number eight, Tanner Guzzi over at Masculine Style. So Tanner is here and he's recently a new addition in the top 10 because his writing is some of the best you'll find out there. I really like how he gets into the he gets into the deep aspect of men's style and he really asks, I think, the hard questions that not enough style bloggers are out there asking. Number seven, permanent style. So I've known about Simon for a long time, probably go back to like 2008. I remember when we used to talk back and forth on email. I've continued to respect what he does over there. I wish he would update the blog a bit in the sense of the overall look of it, but it is a solid blog, especially if you are inter interested in English bespoke. Number six, Fashion Beans. Now, some of you guys may be surprised to see me rank Fashion Beans this high. I'm more of a style blog, but I respect what they do. They consistently put out content and they've been a leader in the industry for quite a while. Number five, Articles of Style. So, Dan and his team have done a great job and I just love how they're evolving. They're now becoming actually a company that sells clothing, but you are not going to be disappointed when you go over and you look at looks. I like these guys. They're both in LA, New York, and they take all of these great photos. They go into details about each of the looks. They engage with people in the comments. Overall, articles of style easily made my top five. Number four, I am Alpha M. So, if you are not familiar with Aaron Marino, boom, go check out his videos right here a good friend, a great blogger, a guy that inspired me to start this video channel. So, I've got him in at number four. Number three, Baron over at the Effortless Gen. Now, Baron has been, he really has stepped up his game. He recently moved to New York City from San Francisco and the quality, the depth, the detail that he goes into his writing, he's brought in infographics, he's got some great courses support, check out, go over there and look at what Baron is doing. If you haven't been to his website for the last year, you're going to be amazed at how he has stepped up his game and he's continued to put out great quality content. And FYI, Aaron, Baron, Tanner, a lot of these guys are going to be at Men's StyleCon. Hint, hint, come check that out. I'll link to Men's StyleCon right here. Number two, Dappered. 
Joe has continued to produce great content. Joe continues to be my go-to resource when I'm looking for, to find great deals on men's style. The volume of content is is second to none. I also appreciate that he has a forum where you can go and you can interact with and learn from others about men's style. So really quick, I want to take a few minutes to give some honorable mentions. Art of Manliness. You're not going to see them on this list. I write the style section over at the Art of Manliness, hence I'm not going to put them on this list, but they cover so much more. If you're not familiar with the Art of Manliness, go check them out. Ask Andy about clothes. It's a forum, not necessarily a blog, so I didn't put it here, but still one of my favorite places where I go for crowdsourcing information. The Men's Style Forum over at Reddit. Great resource. The people are kind of snarky there sometimes, but overall you're going to find some of the best crowdsourced information. Style Girlfriend and Ashley Weston. They actually made my top 25, but I still want to give them notes because I know some of you guys want a female's perspective. You want to go check out Ashley. She's coming from the celebrity stylist perspective and uh, Megan over at Style Girlfriend. She's in New York City via Wisconsin and she is just diving in there and providing great content for guys that want a woman's view. Primer Magazine. Andy has continued to put out great content. Now, he covers a lot more than men's style, but his How a Suit Should Fit guide is one of the best ones out there. So, our number one blog for 2016 is Real Men Real Style. No, just kidding. I wouldn't, I don't even rank myself. The number one style for 2016, and this has been a long time coming, is the Gentleman's Gazette. Raphael Schneider has just really excelled. I mean, this guy is a machine. He puts out one to two pieces of content, it seems like every single day. He has a great email newsletter. He's got tons of great guides. He's built a store on the back end so that you can find very hard to find men's wear items. Guys, Raphael Schneider is the man. One thing I love about Raphael is he is the brand. He actually dresses. He wears an ascot. I think I've told the story. I met him up here at a truck stop next to my house. The guy had an ascot on in a Wisconsin truck stop. Simply for that reason, I give him the number one ranking. No, that's not why. He really has earned it. He uh, continues to put out great information and I want you to go check out his website. Gentlemen, that is it. You can see the full ranking. Over 400 men's style blogs right here at Real Men Real Style. If you feel I missed somebody, if you feel I got something wrong in the rankings, please go down in the comments. Let me know. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.